going on y'all? I'm here on the uh, Blanco River in Blanco, Texas doing uh, some video for the Astral Trail Runners that I'm doing a review on so uh, please enjoy. I watched on another YouTube video that if you have really good natural light, you should use that to record video. So I figured if I'm in the uh, front of my house and the sun looks good, I'm going to take that time and do a quick little uh, YouTube introduction. I want to talk to y'all today about a follow-up review. I uh, did actually do the first review, so I don't know why it's calling it a follow-up but I got a pair of Astral TR1 mesh shoes I got them because they are a really good brand for uh, trail running and for water shoes so I figured I'd try them out I've had them for about four months four or five months now so I wanted to just talk about what I really like about them what I think could be improved on them so stay tuned and enjoy this uh, video thanks So in terms of quality, the Astral TR1 shoes, they're top notch. The materials feel really well put together, and I haven't seen any seams or glue coming apart. In the last four-ish months, I've used these predominantly on the dry trails, and only about three times in the water. But let me just say, these are much better in the water than on dry land for sure. Before I get too far, I want to give some details about this shoe if you're not yet familiar. Astral makes a handful of different shoe styles for men and women. They were originally a life jacket company, so they haven't gotten too far from their aqua-based roots. While they still make life jackets, in 2012 they started making shoes because they couldn't find river shoes with a good amount of grip. I fish, so something I could wear in the water was important, but I hike more, so a comfy trail runner style was also essential. The TR1 and the TR is for Trail Runner. It's turbo ventilated, ultra light, and their proprietary Sticky G rubber is all you need to move confidently through dry and wet land. And that's all according to the website. Some quick tech specs. The uppers are ripstop 2D mesh with TPU overlays at the top and heel cap. This will give a little more protection from any bumps along the way. They also have drainage holes in the front to release water. The midsole features a top shank to reduce foot fatigue. No huge arch inserts on these. And the outsole features that G15 high friction rubber and the lugs are five millimeter. The weight of the shoes is about 301 grams in my size nines. These are indeed lightweight shoes, but when hiking in Texas heat, I noticed the ventilation pretty quickly as well. The front and top of the shoe is where I felt the breeze, which was a really nice feature. As I hiked in them more on dry trails, I did wish I had a little bit more cushion in this shoe. It started to feel a bit flat for the rocky terrains that I frequent. The lugs are sizable, but the cushion between the ground and the foot left a bit to be desired. Then something else started to happen, and this may be just a little bit of a nitpick, but the shoelaces kept coming undone. Yes, I know I could just double tie, but I don't always like to have my laces that tight, so again, bit of a nitpick. There were a few times when I had to stop my hike to retie my laces multiple times. I think that for hiking and water sports, more grippy laces would be ideal. Okay, enough about the laces. When I utilized them for water the first time, it was probably not the best condition. I was walking over exposed river rock that had a bit of algae on them. These soles are grippy, but don't let your guard down. Slippery rocks are going to be slippery wearing even some of the top rubber soles. They're not magnets. 
It wasn't until I started wading in the water while fishing that these really came into their own. There are sections of the San Marcos River that are low enough to just walk around in and do some fishing. These let plenty of water out and let my feet feel really secure walking along the riverbed. Even in sections of quicker current, these held on to the rocks underneath. I've worn my Chacos under the same circumstances and I didn't feel as confident even in the Vibram sole. So these are just really good fishing shoes that you can feel comfortable hiking in to get to your final destination. The price point is on par with most good trail runner shoes. The TR1 shoes run about 125 and come in a variety of colors. The pair here, it's called Storm Navy. Do you own a pair of Astral shoes? Let me know what you think in the comments section. And if you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel.